How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. We have a bunch of boats, a bunch of accessories. I mean, if you like anything boat related, this is the place to come guys. They do this once a year. We're here at the Bahia del Mar. There's also a convention center. You name it, they got it here. So I'm gonna bring you guys along, show you guys all the makes and models, and we'll go from there guys. Here we go. Hi, my name is Steve Seawee from Isla Mirada Marine Connection. We're a brand new store down there in Isla Mirada. The old Ace True Hardware store. I'd like to have you guys come down. We're standing on the 320cc Cobia, equipped with the new 425 XTO Yamahas. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to come down and see us. My phone number, I'm going to give you my cell number. It's 810-623-5270. We'd love to have you come see us at the office. We're going to have a grand opening special on December 17th. Have some food there, and I uh, hope to see everyone there. Thanks. Hey, guys, this is Joe here at Marine Connection Vero Beach at the 2022 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Here I am at the Cobia display on the... Cobia 330 dual console here. Uh, we're going to be here all weekend until, uh, until Sunday. Any questions, come on down and see us and have a great weekend. Hey guys, Jess Samaro here with Marine Connection. We're at the Flibs Boat Show. If you know what that means, it's Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Right now I'm in the 280 Cobia. This is one of the boats I actually own right now. And if come and see us this weekend. All right guys, this is the Cobia lineup right here. We're gonna start off with the 24 foot. 24 foot, the head is in the front, opens up. This one comes with twin 150s. Over here we got the next up, which is 26. These are very solid boats, guys. 26 foot, it's a nice space, dual Garmin. Nice space up here. Compared to the 28, they're very similar. 28 over here is where you got the table. So the table start on the 28 model, guys. And I believe those are 250s or 300s. Let's show you right now. Two fifties. Here we got the 30. So this is a boat that competes directly with my Sea Hunt, the 30 Sea Hunt. This one also has a table back here, yeah. chairs that pull out, tuna door, twin garments, joystick, two seats. Oh, you're like, oh, no. And the difference is this one has a table where my Sea Hunt doesn't have this. Same table I have on the 35. This is the 33 DC. So instead of being a center console, it's more of an open layout. It's a lot wider also. And then of course, our boat, the 35. You guys know this boat well. I did a few re full review on this boat. Right, guys now we're here in the convention section hey this is Reggie I'm here at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show 2022 sitting on the best-selling boat in the Sea Hunt booth the 275 Ultra please come out and check us out we'll gift you a great deal all right guys so the lineup here we're gonna start with the 219 I have a friend that has this boat and crossed the Bimini with no problems whatsoever <clears throat> I met them when I went to Bibini. Then we jump over here to the 23-4. This is the same boat that my friend has also. He crossed to Bibini with me too. Right then. This one has the 300 Yamaha. Then we jump up to the 25. 25 is a couple feet bigger. Next up, 
He got the 26. This is the Ultra, guys, because it has the back seating, but it does still have a live well. And it has the difference of this one and the Ultra is the seats here have that little wave to it. These are powered by twin 150s. I believe you can upgrade them to 200s and make four horse, 400 horsepower. This is the Ultra 27 with twin 200s. Chasing Reef had a boat like this when I met them. In this same color too. They just had the game fish. They did not have the Ultra. Remember guys, the Ultra, you don't have that live well here. Actually, might stand corrected. Have a little shove there. Here, pull this, got another life well. And also, the wavy seats up front. This, of course, guys, is the 30. Same boat that I have, guys, that you've seen on the channel. Price has gone way up from what I paid, but this is the 30, guys. Also, this is the Ultra. You don't have the big cooler in the back. You got all this seating. I love the see-through live well. That's new. You got your dual garments. And people say sea huns don't have tables. Well, now they have this attachment that you could put a table here too. It's a nice boat, guys. Here, this is the coffin top, guys. So this is what a 30 looks like. Instead of having the forward seating, the coffin top. Right next door, we also have a 27. This is the 23 Escape, guys. So if you want a little bay boat, has 300 horsepower, nice forward seating in the front, Nice first boat for a lot of people. And this, guys, is the Escape 27. My dad actually had this boat. This is what we turned in about maybe six, seven months ago. Awesome bay boat, lots of space up front. Nice cooler under there. And then next door on this one, this is the brand new 28 Escape. Now, the best thing I like about this Escape is the fact that instead of the 200s, you got twin 300s. They say it goes 64 miles an hour. So this is the fastest sea hunt you can buy right now because my sea hunt tops out at 59. This one tops out at 64. It's the fastest boat in the lineup, guys. You like speed. Hello, this is Greg with Marine Connection of Aventura. Welcome aboard the Escape 28, the newest model from Sea Hunt. Coming up here into the helm, we have dual garments with the Yamaha Helm Master joystick, all digital electric steering. Mm -hmm. Coming up front, we're walking into a huge, spacious forward seating area. You're talking about three feet distance here from seat to seat. Plenty of room, tons of storage. You can keep your fish in here if you want to fish. Great for the family. Here we are at the back of the boat. Tons of room here. Tons of storage underneath each seat. And then coming around here, we have the entertainment uh, center, which we have some flip up foot rests. Nice if you want to sit back and relax. Under, right above the foot rests, we have wireless cell phone chargers, and that's on each side of the entertainment center. And then here we have a pull-out Yeti cooler. Some drawers for some silverware. You got your sink here, cup holders up here, and it's just a wonderful family boat. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm with uh, Marine Connection of Aventura. My phone number is 810-522-7635, and we'll be happy to get you in one. I've met a bunch of subscribers today, and I want to stress, because the number one question that people ask me is, why did I leave Sea Hunt? So I want to state for the record, I did not leave Sea Hunt, guys. I still got the Sea Hunt. Yes, there's a Cobia in the family now, but 
I still got the sea hunt, all right? So don't worry, I have not left Team Sea Hunt yet, okay? I promise.